Yo guys, oh, what is going on? Welcome back to another video now, a brand new transfer video. I know I, I know, I obviously released one yesterday as well, but the two players I'm going to talk about now didn't actually get mentioned yesterday purely because they were not inside of the news, you know, nobody's really talking about these guys. But of course today, you know, all sorts of rumours, links and all that come out on a daily basis during the transfer window. And this one is coming through now, Martin Waghorn, who we were linked with at the start of the summer transfer window, Looks to be coming here, so hopefully by Millwall, obviously on Saturday, hopefully we can have this guy finalised, done, hopefully he'll be wearing that butter shirt on Saturday, uh, ready for obviously the first game of the season. Now, Martin Waghorn, 16 goals that season, 11 assists, not bad at all. When I look at him, I think, yeah, do you know what it is? He's big lad, do you know what I mean? He's strong, do you know what I mean? He puts himself about well, you know what I mean? He also has, a, he also has an eye for goal. I would take him, I would really, really take this guy, and, you know, I think it would be a good addition to the squad. Um, you know, you know, just I look at him and I just think, you know, he's a decent player, he's a decent striker, you know what I mean? He obviously scores his goals. And I think in this league, if you can get a player that can score maybe 15 to 25 goals a season, then, you know what I mean? That's bang on the money. And I think exactly, I think that's exactly what he is. For £7 million, in this day and age, the way the transfer market's going, if you can skew a player for £7 million, a striker who can score 16 goals a season and assist in maybe his 10 plus, you're laughing. Do you know what I mean? You're laughing in this division. But I think. This season, I know Pulis won't play it, and I would love to see him play two up front, but I know he won't play it because I think if you go back on there strong, see if he can hold off a defender and bring down the ball. If he's got Ashley Fletcher to his obviously see if he's got Ashley Fletcher to his side, he's pacey, he's you know what I mean, you know, he's pacey, he's got flair, I mean he's you know what I mean he's also got a bit of skill in there. And I think if you had them two up front this season, we would do things. Now I'm not saying we won't. I'm saying, you know, even if you had one up front being Martin Waghorn. After he's held up the ball, a bit like Rudiger Stead players, like, is he going to struggle then to find a pass if no men are around him? That sort of thing. But obviously, you know, if he comes in, that means then we have four strikers. I and mean, realistically, in the championship, you don't you don't really need four strikers. You can have three strikers. And that's only if you play one up front. So, you know, you look at now, you know, you've got Rudiger Stead, who's obviously injured. Brisson Belonga isn't really consistent enough. And Ashley Fletcher, he hasn't proven at this level. Martin Waghorn, yeah, he has proven at this level. So does Son Belonga, but. The thing that worries me with, with obviously with, 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 with obviously with obviously Belonga is that he's he's just he's just not consistent enough, and that's what worries me about him. So, you know, I look at our squad now, and I think yeah, Matt and Wagon, he would be a really really good addition to our team. The next one as well is Joe Bryan. Now he's a left back from Bristol City. Of course, you know Zayden Flint, who's obviously from Bristol City, who brought a, who brought a went out and got um, obviously early on in the transfer window. But then you look at Luke, you know you know I should have said Joe Bryan. And you look at him, and I think, yeah, you know, he's not a bad player. He's only 24, 25 year old. You know, and he's still, you know, I mean, for me, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like he's still got a lot to give in this game. You know, we've been so young, um, you know, a bit of experience in the championship as well, playing left back for Bristol City regularly. So, you know, you look at these two additions, and I think to myself, yeah, you know, I take them both because at the end of the day, um, you know, it's a tall, strong defence that we've got. You know, what I mean, big player up front being Martin Wagon, and then you look at our, you know, you sort of look at the rest of the team, and you think, well, at the minute. Right midfield, we don't realistically have one because, of course, the Diamond Triore is injured at the minute. Um, so do we have to go and invest in one of them? A left midfielder, I know Stuart Downing's there. I would personally bring him in as a squad player. Um, who's going to play left mid? Well, of course, you've got Chapman Wing. Tavernier's there as well. Number 10, possibly Martin Braithwaite in behind Martin Waghorn. That's a possibility, possibility. But like I say, Martin Waghorn is pretty much close to, pretty much close to signing. So that deal's pretty much done um, and should hopefully be done and finalised in the next few days. As for the Joe Bryan one, you know, but I haven't yet put a bid in, but we are still very heavily linked with him. Will he come in just for the window shuts? We don't know this, but what we do know is that these two players are possibly on the way, but one is definitely on the way, and that is Martin Waghorn, and he's basically coming in as a replacement for obviously Patrick Bamford, who went to Leeds with £7 million, and obviously now, obviously Martin Waghorn's basically his replacement with £7 million, so, you know, it isn't bad at all. I know if we did want ten million for him, but they were considering seven, and that's exactly what they've agreed on. So happy it is. I say I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure his medical will get sorted out in the next few days as well. And hopefully Martin Waghorn could be a Borough player ready for Millwall away on Saturday. And then obviously Joe Bryan, we have to wait on him, but hopefully he can come in as well because he's another player who I, I'm a big, big fan of. But as I say, quick video, you know, what I mean, just, 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 just all about, just all about the transfers. Martin Waghorn, very, very close signing, very, very happy days. And like I say, guys. Also tonight, I'm doing a head-to-head -head with a Leeds fan from All Leeds, or from I think he's called All Leeds TV. I'll leave the link to the trailer in the description down below, so you guys can go and check that one out. And yeah, I say we're actually going to be filming tonight in Stockton on Tees, in, in obviously obviously in a place called Jokers. So I say if you guys want to come over, if you guys want to come and show some support, get there for half past six. 
be part of the audience, and all of us have a good night. Guys, I'll catch you again tomorrow. Take care, and until then, up the border.